Welcome back to my channel, Max Cyber. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell. Thank you. Today video is about the capacitors and how it's work. A capacitor, also known as a condenser, is a device that stores energy in an electrical field. Capacitors are open circuits to DC current, but their impedance drops as AC current passing through them has its frequency increased. Extremely high frequency currents see capacitors as short circuits. This is the example on how to work the capacitor. A capacitor stores energy when it is charged. The water tank would be the capacitor and it would be charged by a pump, which fills it up. The amount of charge in the capacitor would be analogous to the amount of water in the tank. Capacitors are used in electronic circuits. A capacitor is an electronic component that stores and releases electricity in a circuit. It also passes alternating current without passing direct current. A capacitor is an indispensable part of electronic equipment and is thus almost invariably used in an electronic circuit. Here are the following capacitor type and symbols. A fixed capacitor is a capacitor that stores a fixed amount of electric charge, and this is not adjustable at any instance. Some of them include paper capacitor, plastic capacitor or plastic film capacitor, ceramic capacitor, microcapacitor, electrolytic capacitor, and supercapacitor. Polarized capacitor is the one that have specific positive and negative polarities. While using these capacitors and circuits, it should always be taken care that they are connected in perfect polarities. A variable capacitor is a capacitor whose capacitance may be intentionally and repeatedly changed by mechanically or electronically. I will show you now the actual example of polarized capacitor, how it works. I use light emitting diode, resistor, and polarized capacitor, and I charge it with 12 volts battery. Now look. What will happen? The light bulb is on, once I charge it, and the light comes off, when I disconnect the power. Now I will use a multimeter, so we can see the rise and fall of the voltage, across the capacitor.
thank you for watching guys.